adrenaline is basically crawling right up through your mouth. 57 miles an hour. The hair on your back stands up. Oh, it'll be the fastest wheel-driven car in the world. I think they're going to rewrite all the land speed books. Land speed racing answers the age-old question. How fast can it go? Bonneville is the last vestige of the American Wild West, where all the ponies are under the hood. It's great innovation, ingenuity, and imagination. And if you can dream it up, make it safe, you put yourself on the starting line, then that's where you prove yourself. Nothing else counts, only the time slips. Land speed racing is a bunch of crazy people getting together and trying to wring something out until it either blows up or goes as fast as humanly possible. Once a year, a handful are invited to Cook's Land Speed Shootout. Four days, five individuals, as many high speed runs as they can endure. We're twice as fast as the fastest NASCAR car. We're almost twice as fast as the fastest Indy car. If you want to go fast and you want to be the best at going fast, then this is the environment to do it in. What does 400 miles an hour feel like? It's indescribable. I'm very proud of being the fastest woman in the world on a motorcycle. Every time today when I get in my car, I literally am risking my life, so I don't consider it a hobby. Fire. It's something I'm willing to die for. Probably 2,000 people have climbed Mount Everest. Probably 10 people have gone over 400 at the Bonneville Salt Flats. The Bonneville Salt Flats are the biggest nothing you've ever seen in this country. The stark white salt surface offers speedsters an ideal natural race course. It's like being on a different planet. The Salt Flats is the testing ground for anything that thinks it's fast. We call this God's racetrack. He made this one, and he lets us use it. It is salt, which most people don't believe it, but it's real salt. It's a very hard surface. It gives great traction. You're hooking up 2,000 horsepower on a, a five-inch wide rim. On the highway, you burn the tires off in a quarter of a mile. When you set a record at Bonneville, it's a pedigree. This is the speed capital. More records have been set here than any other place on Earth. The race course is a 12-mile straight track. It's pretty simple. The drivers race from one end to the other. They have one hour to turn and fuel their speed machines and race back. The middle mile is timed in each direction, and the speeds are averaged for each vehicle class. This week, we want to get a record over 400. We wanted to see how fast we could make this car go. Heads up, we're getting ready to fire this puppy up. As he gets out of sight, we get goosebumps. Come on, time fire. We came down, our mile average was 455. It was the fastest piston-powered car in history. The main car wasn't able to make the return run, unfortunately, within the hour. We turned around and we broke the transmission. Bonneville, it's six miles of flat out. It's the hardest thing in the world on an engine. We keep bringing unbreakable parts, but my crew will find a way to break them. You either get records or you don't get records. We really felt we could go 414 or better this year. We advise you, probably going to haul the mail. We're going to open and start the motor closer to go. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's get some. For the mile, we have an average speed of 
Even though we did set a new record for the class that we're in, we were quite short of what we wanted to do. Our goal was to build a car that would go over 425 miles an hour. Would make it the fastest wheel-driven, naturally aspirated car. Uh, it doesn't sound good. Hi, session problems. I pulled it out again. You could hear this thing just making thunder, and all of a sudden it clicked off. With that, my heart fell. I knew it was terminal. Then we went to the beer cooler. <laughs> Bonneville, you can go from a hero to a zero about that quick. So we'll spend another year and we'll be back. My big goal for Bonneville this week was to get up over 250, maybe 260. It is discouraging that I'm not running right, and I've spent several days now thrashing on this bike and really trying to get it back. I'm maybe completely done. Bonneville is a big test of patience. What we had to achieve this week was to break a 252.8 mile an hour land speed record. I got a good entry speed, 263 coming in and out. And I just managed to hang on to the beast and uh, get it right through the mile. And uh, So we're only halfway there. We've got to go back and back it up. We've been trying for this for five years. Oh, 259.2. This is the fastest ever returned mile in the history of land speed racing for an open wheeled motorcycle. This is as big as it gets for us. This is fantastic. There's no prize money, no trophies. Just glory to the victor and an incurable case of what they say keeps them coming back year after year. Salt fever. It's about chasing a dream. Every now and then you just achieve more and more of that dream. There's a very deep sense of satisfaction. Everybody would like to be somewhat immortal in some way and land speed racing is one way to try to put your name on a record that can stand for a long time. My wife asked me, you've wasted all this money. If you had it to do over again, would you do it? And I said, in a heartbeat, only one change I'd make. I'd start sooner.